What's up guys, Bearded Jeeper here. Today we're talking about tire inflators, beard oil, frozen driveways, and more. So stay tuned. What's up Bearded Jeeper squad? So today it's gonna be more of a, a vlog style because I don't know if you can see, my driveway is still a sh solid sheet of ice between the mix of rain and cold weather we've had. It's been really hard to do anything in this driveway, but I really need to find a squeak that I have in the rear of my Jeep, uh, check out what it is. I need to get into the garage to get my jack, jack stands and everything else. It's frozen shut, let's see if we can bust into it. First I gotta get gloves from my Jeep here. I was actually frozen in the ice the other day. My Jeep was frozen in the ice. I'll set you guys up here so you can watch me struggle and try to get this garage door open. Move you a little closer so you can actually see. That's just my luck. I went to go get the shovel and it, it's, let me show you. So I went to get this shovel and it's completely, the shovel's frozen to the ground. So I think all I have besides that are plastic shovels. Let me grab one of those, see if that can even free up these metal shovels or get the garage door open itself. I don't know, let's find out. Yeah, so this shovel, there's no way that's going to do anything. I really tried to scrape into the garage, tried to get underneath it, but it's just not budging. I'm gonna have to wait for a warmer day for that. All right guys, I wanted to show you a few other things. If you have a beard and you wanna maintain it, I highly recommend some beard oil. Um, a lot of people don't use beard oil and they'll get really itchy underneath their beard and wonder why. When your beard gets longer, your skin can't produce enough oil to maintain your hydration underneath your skin. So a good quality beard oil is something I highly recommend. I've been using this beard oil for a while. I've been using this beard oil for a while. Live Bearded is really great beard oil. They actually sent me this beard oil along with the wash and if you haven't tried it, the beard butter. Beard butter is kind of a conditioner that you just leave in your beard. It's really great and it keeps your beard nice and hydrated all day long. So if you yourself have a beard or you know someone that has a beard and you wanna get them something, get some beard oil, live bearded. Uh, it's a great group of guys, a brotherhood. They're really inviting into their community. Uh, they have a Facebook page, they'll, so if you want to check out their products, I will link them below in the description. Get yourself some beard oil. Ot Lead, a company reached out to me. It's a compressor. Look, this thing's really tiny. Um, I don't know. Let's open it up. Now, this company reached out to me, and they wanted to know, they had seen some of my other videos, they wanted to know if I would do a review on this. I said, well, will it hold up to 35, 37 inch tires? And they said, yes. It, anywhere between, I think they said like 60 PSI or something, or 50 PSI can go up to. They said that this should be able to handle it. The only thing it can't handle are like big tractor trailer tires. Now they told me this will inflate your tires it'll stop once it reaches the correct psi so uh let's open it up see what we got in here it's really small so i'm kind of concerned about that oh. it 
Do not eat. Well, it's very nicely packaged, I have to say that. Nice little carrying case. Aw, it's so cute. Tiny little compressor. Also in the bag, you have directions and you have um, some more fittings and stuff so you can attach it to uh, like blowing up a basketball or something. It's kind of neat. The hose right here is connected right in the back. My fingers don't want to work, it's cold out. So, uh, let's test this out. Let's get buggy. Display here with the PSI. That's the power. It's got a light. SOS mode and Okay. Well that's pretty cool. It's hooked up to the tire. That says there's 28 PSI, 28 and a half. So I think I hit this plus button. Oh, 29. some more testing before I give you guys my final review on this but uh, so far it seemed pretty cool uh, I like how it tells you right here in the digital display how much uh, PSI is in the tire I'm gonna have to read up a little more on it uh, read the instructions actually to figure out how to set you're supposed to be able to set this so whatever you want the PSI to be say 35 PSI set it to whatever PSI you want and say 35 PSI it'll stop right at that PSI range so that's really cool it seemed to inflate really quick um, we'll have to test it out with my big tires on my Jeep uh, we'll do that whenever it gets a little warmer it's a little cold out right now I, my fingers are getting numb just being out here so uh, look for a, a review on this. I'm gonna be reviewing this. So here's the Jeep in all its glory. So as you can see under here, I now have sway bar end links again. They're not, qu they're not quick disconnects, but I will be turning these into quick disconnects. So you have to stay tuned for a video on that, how we can turn these normal sway bar end links into disconnects for cheap. Um, yesterday we also had to replace, I actually got to use a shop, so shout out to Granite Garage for letting me use the shop, but had to replace the upper and lower ball joints, figured out those were bad. I knew the wheel hub was bad, so we replaced that. That was a, it, it rides so much better. We actually found out too. We actually found out too that the lower control arm bolts were completely loose. So we tightened those up. This one on the driver's side here was finger tight. It is an unbelievable difference in ride quality now. It rides a whole lot better. The Warren winch still holding up well. Reaper off-road front bumper. There is one thing I would change on this bumper um, now that I've had it for a little while. The approach angle isn't the greatest. I still like that it's a stubby, so I hit my tires first. But this sticks out so far, a lot of the times I'll hit the bumper instead of hitting the tires first. So, um, like here there's a little mark where I hit. 
I hit the D-ring mount and I've hit down here before. The bumper's holding up well, the powder coating on it is holding up real well. But I've hit that a couple of times, so I'd like to see a stubby version. See, this is pretty, pretty wide here. I'd like to see it sucked back even more. I'd like to do a frame chop bumper. But tires, still holding up well, tread right tires. Got a lot of road salt. And these fenders starting to rust, I'll take them off in the spring and recoat them. I keep getting a, a squeak in this back tire. And I'm wondering if my brake pads are getting worn or they're seizing up again or something, because I mean, I don't think they're seizing up because it, there's not a lot of heat coming from it, but something's grinding back there. I gotta get it taken apart, but I don't have any way to get into that garage. It's all icy. This is just, it's just a skating rink out here. It's ridiculous. It's like a lake. Especially when this starts to melt, this floods every spring. I need to get this whole thing re-leveled and everything, fix the garage. There's a lot I need to do. Poor no-name Jeep just sitting there covered in snow, feeling neglected. Don't worry, the springtime comes, be hitting, I'll be working on this thing quite a bit. It's cold out here. I mean, it's like 20 degrees, so it's not super cold, but it's snowing and my hands are really cold trying to do this video for you guys. It may not have been as entertaining as I had hoped. Uh, I was hoping to try to bust into the garage and you could laugh at me trying to get into the garage. I thought that would have been great, but uh, there's just no getting into it today. I just wanted to share a few updates with you, show you some beard oil, and just put a video out there. I haven't got a chance to film a lot. It's been cold, It's my driveway's been a mess. Um, but we're getting really close to 3,000 subscribers. I'm thinking a, a cool giveaway. Uh, if you haven't watched my recent video about the onion challenge, go check that out. Tammy, Jeep Mama, and I are having a contest. The loser has to eat an onion. Make sure you watch that video and subscribe to both my channel and her channel. I'm thinking 3,000 subscribers. I can hit it by the end of this weekend. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Got lots of big stuff coming this year. As always guys, stay bearded, stay jeeping. I'm out.